Hello guys, welcome to part 5. In this part I show you how to create shadow and reflection for your 3D model. Let's start. First select the solid, go to effect and go to select element. Then let's create the model and now let's select one of the model so I want to create a water let's select fresh food let's uh, select apple Close, select the red apple and move up. Change lighting to 360. So now I want to add shadow for the apple. Create a new plan. Scale up the size and move it down to change group 2. And click OK. So, now, move out the camera and set the camera position like this, like this. Let's create a new solid, create a new solid, maybe white solid, okay, okay. Move it down because this solid is background and select juice. So, now we have two groups. You can control the plan little bit up here. And don't forget, go back to scene setup, change the material of the plan to create shadow. Go to presets, go to physical, move it down. There is a material, match shadow. Drag and drop to plan model and click OK. So, go back to render setting, go to ambient occlusion, turn on. When you turn on the ambient occlusion, there is the shadow of Apple. Change intensity, change the quality, more. Let's change the lighting, go to add lighting 360, let's take a look. There's a realistic 3D shadow for the apple. Okay, let's create reflection for the apple. Go to scene setup. And now let's delete the plan from here. Let's create another plan and make back size and right click. There we have reflect mode change to mirror surface. And there you have a black glass. Apply. There is a mirror surface. Click OK. Turn off the background solid. There is the reflection. You can change the material of the plan. Let's go to scene setup. And let's go to presets, metal, let's select apply, here's a lot of materials. I want to apply metal 007, there is reflection, and let's apply another one, because the reflection mode is on with mirror surface. Let's change to metal zero for sale. Click OK. Wow. Looking good. Okay guys, thank you for watching. This was about how to create 
3D shadow and reflection for your model. Thank you for watching. Let's go to the next part.